Hi, my name is Manu Sporni and this is a demo of the Video RDF vocabulary. The Video RDF vocabulary can be used to mark up um, television, movies, or uh, episodes uh, on your blog page or on uh, websites. Um, you use RDFA, which is a technology uh, done by the World Wide Web Consortium. They're the same people that do, you know, HTML and XHTML. Um, so RDFA is this new way of marking up uh, metadata on web pages. Uh, the technology that we're using to extract the metadata from the web pages is called Fuzzbot. Fuzzbot is a semantic web processor uh, plugin for Firefox 3. So basically, what it does is it looks into the pages that you're looking at, extracts all the metadata data and shows it to you in an easily digestible form. Um, so to give you an example of what uh, the video vocabulary can do, we can take a look at the video vocabulary web page. Uh, the web page is located at uh, pearl.org, that's p-u-r-l.org slash media slash video. Um, if you go to that URL, you'll get this page. And the video vocabulary basically lets us mark up a couple of things. It lets us mark up video recordings, video episodes, movies, and series. Um, it can also describe uh, things about each one of those things. So for example, if you're marking up a movie, you could mark up the title, the creator of the movie, contributors to the movie, such as the um, supporting cast or uh, special effects uh, people that helped on the movie, uh, the date the movie was published, the description uh, to use when describing the movie, the position, let's say, in a series or a playlist of the movie, uh, a sample uh, link, a download link, uh, what the movie poster looks like, the genre of the movie, um, the license that the movie is distributed under, whether it's Creative Commons or standard US copyright, um, the duration of the movie, how long the movie is, uh, if the movie contains little clips or other little sub movies or sub vignettes, um, payment information for purchasing the movie online or the price of the movie, either in the physical world or uh, in the digital uh, one. So basically we use RDFA plus this vocabulary in our HTML markup to produce a page that looks something like this. Now this is a very simple video demo page, but the important thing to note on here is that a human would be very, uh, or a human can read this information and kind of understand what it means. We know that the movie's name is probably The Dark Knight, directed by Christopher Nolan. There seems to be a preview link, when the movie was released, and what the movie's rated, and the runtime in the movie. But a computer really has no idea what any of this information is. It doesn't even know how to pull that information out from the web page. What Fuzzbot does is it using uh, RDFA and uh, HTML, it looks into the HTML web page and tries to detect any kind of RDFA metadata uh, that's in the page. So if we go back he to here, you can see that there's no icon saying that there's any you know, metadata in this page, but if we go to this vocab video vocabulary demo, you'll see that there's a little film icon, and clicking on that film icon brings up the one movie that's on the page. So if we click that, we get a nice little user interface that tells us these are the pieces of metadata that Fuzzbot was able to find on the page. So it found that there was some kind of uh, link to an image uh, related to the movie, and it also found uh, these other pieces of information, such as the title and the creator of the movie, um, along with the date that the movie was published, a short description of the movie, um, a sample link to uh, the movie or a sample of the movie of some kind, and a rating for the movie. Now once we have this data we can do other some some other neat things with it. So for example with the title The Dark Knight we could use the title to search the Internet Movie Database. And we we search the Internet Movie Database what Fuzzbot does is it constructs this search query and sends it off to IMDB and hopefully when we go and click on this IMDB tab it'll have the movie already up in there. And we click on it and of course 
first hit is the Dark Knight, and uh, we've got a couple of photos uh, about the Dark Knight and videos uh, about the Dark Knight. And clicking on this link, of course, takes us to the Dark Knight web page. Now that search was based on um, the title, but we can also do some other searches uh, from here. For example, it has the cr one of the creators as Christopher Nolan uh, listed, so we can use his name to search Rotten Tomatoes. And again, Fuzzbot will create a very specific type of search uh, on the Rotten Tomatoes website. And if we were to go to the Rotten Tomatoes website, there we go. We've got Christopher Nolan's web page uh, is automatically brought up um, because Fuzzbot did uh, a did a search that uh, listed uh, the director and the type uh, of search as a celebrity search. Um, now going back here, we've got some other information as well for the Dark Knight. Uh, we've got a sample link, and it looks like a YouTube sample. If we click on Get Sample, um, it should take us to YouTube. Uh, and then, of course, here we go. Here's the Batman Dark Knight movie trailer in uh, high definition playing on YouTube. So as you can see, just with that small bit of embedded metadata, we were able to do many things uh, through the Fuzzbot user interface. Um, just all you need is just a tiny little uh, bit of data, metadata on the page uh, to make this user interface pretty pretty usable. Um, so the whole the whole reason Fuzzbot exists is to help people uh, make their browsing experiences a little easier. Uh, and I hope that it does adjust that.